Hello friends, let's talk about the effective win rate of trend following strategies. Uh, I wrote this paper uh, last month, uh, you can find it in uh, CSRN uh, under this title and my name. Uh, we need an effective win rate uh, measure for trend following strategies because usually these strategies have a very low win rate uh, often between 20% uh, and 40% but uh, usually closer to 20% because these strategies they look for outliers uh, they cut loss short and uh, let profits run uh, trades may last uh, winning trades they may last for uh, years and the average uh, holding period for winners maybe one year or two years uh, so the win rate uh, comes out very low and uh, and this is not a good metric to judge the success rate of these strategies uh, i start with a formula derived uh, many years ago in a, and it's in my book profitability and systematic trading you can download it uh, for free it was published by willie in 2008 i will uh, show you the link uh, at the end the win rate of a strategy is the profit factor divided by the profit factor plus the payoff ratio the profit factor is the sum of winning trades divided by the sum of losing trades and the payoff is the average winning trade divided by the average losing trade this is an exact formula and it holds for all trading systems in all time frames it's a unique relationship if we set the profit factor to 1, which is the lower threshold for profitability, we get uh, and we solve this for the payoff ratio, we get that the payoff ratio should be greater than 1 minus the win rate divided by the win rate. Now let's go to the next step. Uh, if we define uh, TW and TL, the average holding periods for winning and losing trades, then under the reasonable assumption of a random walk, as in the reference, reference to, I will show you later, the average win is related to the volatility and the square and the uh, average holding uh, period of winning trades by this form formula and the average losing trade is related to the volatility and uh, uh, average uh, uh, holding period for losing trade by this formula so if we after a few manipulations we get that the win rate is approximately equal to 1 over 1 plus the uh, the square root of the ratio of the average holding period for winning trades divided by the average holding period of the uh, losing trades this is an approximation but it's uh, good for our purposes here and this is what we will do next if we are holding trades for a year we can assume we rebalance like every month so if a trade an average the average trade uh, holding period for winners is 252 days uh, we can imagine that we have 12 trades with a holding period of 21 days each. Essentially, we are inserting a, a factor in the formula, in the denominator, in the square root, a factor n, uh, as shown in this equation 7. So this is the effective win rate. Uh, let's see an example. Let's say we have a, a trading strategy uh, that has a win rate of uh, that has a 
holding period, an average holding period for winners, 250 days. Then we imagine 12 trades uh, with a holding period of, of 21 days each. And also if we assume that the losing trades are held for 32 days on the average, which comes from a strategy um, I had uh, tested, then the win rate is about 26.3%. Now, if we account for the rebalancing and uh, we calculate the effective win rate, we get 55.2% instead of 26.3%. It's about, oh, it's more than double. So this is the idea. Uh, a rebalancing every month it's reasonable if we for instance rebalance every daily we get a win rate of 85% but this is not a reasonable rebalancing uh, we need something uh, that is uh, that makes sense and this, in this case uh, uh, monthly is more appropriate for this type of uh, effective win rate calculation. So this effective win rate uh, gives us uh, another metric that we can use along with uh, many other metrics to judge the performance of strategies uh, we use uh, for trend following. In the references you see the link to my uh, free book and also the link to the reference uh, trend followers lose more often than they gain it's a very good paper i recommend it this is all for today thank you have a nice day